so what's up guys welcome back to another video after a long time i'm sorry i was really busy with some stuff which is why i couldn't upload for a while but well i guess i'm back i'll try to upload as much as possible from now now anyway in my controller videos a lot of you guys have told me that the method doesn't work anymore it isn't working properly anymore and you guys are facing a lot of issues and in this video i'll be solving all those issues and i'll be answering a lot of questions that you guys have asked me in those videos and i'll show you guys how you can do it the updated way now yes actually x output did get some update and i did not include the updates in those videos which is why it might not be working or you might be having issues so without wasting any more time let's get right into it by the way before we begin i would really appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel it will mean a lot to me so one of the most common questions that I got is that is this a virus? Now it's a good thing that you guys are concerned about what you're installing on your PC. Now in my experience I did not have any kind of malicious problem with this software. And I've been using this software for a long time. Now to answer the questions I don't think it's a virus. But if you guys are still concerned I'll link the official website of this software in the description box below. So you guys can just go ahead and talk with the developer. I'm just showing you guys that this software exists and you guys can download it and it is really useful. Now a lot of people have asked me which games that they can play or they cannot play a certain game. Now you guys can play almost any game that supports X input. So basically the thing is the game has to be released for Xbox and PC. And if it's still not working then either the game does not support X input or you are using a modded version or cracked version of the game which does not support the X input or you did not configure your X input software properly. So in this video I'll show you how you can do that. So just go ahead and follow along the video. And a lot of people have asked me that if they can use a PS4 or PS3 controller. Now the answer to that question is well yes but actually no. So basically the thing is you can use a PS4 or PS3 controller on this software and remap all the buttons and stuff. But before using a PS4 or PS3 controller, you will need a software that actually makes the PS4 or PS3 controller run on your PC, which is most probably called a DS3 or DS4. But before that you will need a DS4 or DS3 driver for your controller. Now in this video I'll show you how we can do that as well. But I did not test it myself so it might not work I'm just giving you guys that. So yes you can use the PS4 controller but you need other software before that. The question is can I use the Xbox controller or a certain controller. Now for the certain controller thing you can use almost every controller with this and if you're using an Xbox controller then you don't need the software to begin with because Xbox controllers will automatically work on Microsoft Windows 10 or Windows 7. Now, will I get banned on online games? The answer is no. You won't get banned. You are just using an emulator which emulates your gamepad into a X input gamepad, which is why you will not get banned. Now, a lot of people were asking me, do I have to keep it running on the background and do I have to start it every time? The answer is yes, you have to start it every time and keep it running in the background, which is kind of sad, but in this video I'll show you how you can run it in the background without like any disturbance of your PC. So I think that goes for the FAQ section. Now let's get into the actual tutorial, I mean actual software tutorial. Now to begin with, you will need four things to run the software properly. So the first one is your gamepad's official driver. Now if you actually bought a gamepad then you guys will get a disk or a driver link for your gamepad that you can install on your PC. Now if you don't have a link or any driver then what you can do is use a universal driver. Now if you have Windows 10 and active internet connection on your PC then it will be installed automatically you don't have to worry about any drivers and stuff. But if you don't have Windows 10 or active internet connection then you guys will have to install a universal gamepad driver. I'll link it down in the description box below. The next thing you will need is Xbox 360 controller driver. Now if you are using Windows 10 and have active internet connection then you don't have to worry about it at all. But if you are using a modded Windows 10 or don't have active internet connection then you guys will have to install the Xbox 360 driver. I will link it down in the description box below. Now for the software here we are in the official page of the software. Now in the how to install section the first thing you will need is the install emulation software which is basically VGM Framework or SCP Toolkit. Now they actually recommend VGM Framework 
which I also recommend because it's easier to install. But if you're using a PS4 controller, you might have to use SCP toolkit. So then we have like the other things that you will need. Now this, this stuff will be actually installed automatically on your PC. You don't have to install it like separately, but if you're still having issues, then go ahead and download this and install this. So first of all, go ahead and download the X output software. Just go to download the latest table release and just download it from here. Then go back and go ahead and download the VGM framework. So here you will find that installation. If you have a X, I mean 64 bit system, then go ahead and download this. If you have 32 bit, then go ahead and download this. So here you can see in my download folder, I have the VGM bus setup. So I have already downloaded and installed it. So I don't have to install it again, but installation is pretty simple. Just double click on it and just follow like next, 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 and it will be installed. Now for the SCP toolkit, it's a little complicated, but the installation is simple, but using method is a little complicated. Now, if you have a PS4 software and then install the SCP toolkit instead of VGM bus setup, because in SCP Toolkit, you'll find the DS4, I mean DualSense 4 driver. So that will be great if you are using it for a PS4 controller. Then go ahead and install the SCP Toolkit. Now after you have VGM bus setup installed on your PC and the prerequisites like that I talked about earlier, the gamepad driver and the Xbox 360 driver, what you have to do is go ahead and plug your gamepad. Now, if you guys are not sure your gamepad has been detected by your PC or not, what you have to do is go to control panel, then go to hardware and sound, then go to view devices and printers. And here, as you guys can see, I have generic USB joystick. Now, if you guys don't see this, then you guys have to change your port or you have to install your gamepad driver again, or your gamepad might be dead. Those are the only three options that you guys can find. Now let's configure the software. So I have it unzipped here on the on my desktop, but you can have it anywhere. But make sure that it's in a separate folder. So here I have SCP managers as well, but you don't have to have it in the same folder. So so as you guys can see here, I have DualSense. 3, 4 specific, but I don't have a DualSense 4 controller to show you guys, which is why you kind of have to figure it out yourself or check out if there's any tutorial for SCP toolkit in the internet. So let's open X output and here you guys can see my gamepad has been detected. So to begin with, what you have to do is go to add controller. Now I already have a controller right here, but I'll remove it. Now let's go to add controller then go to edit now a lot of people are telling me that they cannot configure so if you can't configure then most probably you don't have vgm setup installed so as you guys can see like if i close it right here that x output like in this place here you can see that vgm is already installed and scp toolkit is not used anymore so which basically means that it's working properly because it has detected vgm setup but if you don't have it installed, then you guys might not be able to edit it. So go ahead and edit this. Then now if you don't have anything configured here, then go to configure all. Or if you want to configure a certain part, I mean a certain button that you guys can find it here and configure it. So just go ahead and configure your gamepad like you would. Now this will take a little time, but go ahead and take your time to do this. So after configuring it, what you have to do is start. And if you start, you guys will be able to play any game. Now, you guys are thinking that do we have to do this every time? Well, no, just go to file, then go to save configuration. Now your configuration has been saved and you don't have to configure it every time. Now, what you have to do is go to tools and then go to settings. So as you guys can see, we have two options that you guys would want to tick. 
So first one is close application to tray bar so that when you're using it, you accidentally close it and it doesn't ruin your setup and stuff. And the other thing is run at Windows Startup. Now, I think a lot of people would actually appreciate running it on Windows Startup and not having to go to a certain file to open it. So tick this one as well and this will be it. Then go to save configuration and just close this. I mean, it will close in the here. I mean, what's it called again? Oh, tray. So it will close here and now you guys will be able to play almost any game. So I hope this video helps you and if it helped, then please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.